Hi guys, welcome to my gold recovery channel. Uh, in the couple of next video, I will show you how you return gold uh, from electronic waste, and uh, I will show you uh, that uh, you don't need a lot of money uh, for equipment. You don't need expensive equipment. Uh, so uh, I live in Serbia, so um, I can find. Uh, uh, nitric acid or sulfuric acid and uh, uh, I buy my electronic wa electronic waste I can find him for free so I want to save more money in the uh, recovery process so let's start today we'll start with the ice chips in the next video we made the process something else but we must start from something okay uh, for the day we got these these will mix it chips five chips ram sticks chips and i got uh, some bga chips uh, i already process him uh, process that with uh, ap method i took all gold layer so a couple of caps from BGA chips contain bone wires and I got some uh, fiber processor uh, I put him always uh, in the IT chips just in case that got some gold wire in that epoxy here okay so put this in the scale this is the kitchen scale so I don't need to buy a new scale. We got uh, almost 700 grams. So we put this here and we merge this. Ah, almost 100 grams. So that means that we got uh, 600 grams mixed chips. Uh, maybe it's half kilo. I2 chips and 100 grams this fiber extra. So, BGA caps. If you look here, you'll see that still got bonding wire in that circle inside. Okay, now we go to incinerate in this and uh, sear. Okay, guys. This is how I incinerate IT chips. You can see bucket, metal bucket inside. So this is just a free break round and some wood inside. You nothing. You don't need nothing uh, spectacular. So I use the tin can from the car kit. I don't want to make a large video, so I want I try to talk a little less and show you a little more. Okay, when the finish incinerate, we go to the next step. I just want to say, uh, when you do incinerating chips, uh, you always do it at outside uh, because the fumes is uh, bad for your lungs. And uh, you don't need the fire just uh, to round the tin bucket because the only heat incinerate the chips, not flame. And you will see that uh, blue and the green color of flames in the chips. Uh, when uh, that color disappeared, uh, you got a regular flame. Now that uh, that time is finished and you see that the chip uh, going to white we want that so let's stay more time and we take it back for 10 minutes okay it's look like it's finished look the chips all white no green smoke and uh, now we let that 
to cool it off and we next step go to crush it. Okay guys, and now when the chips is cooled off, it's cold, now we're gonna crush it. Uh, for this I use the metal surface from my machine. Uh, in the real life I'm a carpenter and this is my workshop. I do some furniture and other stuff. So. I use this surface to crush in the small pieces IC chips, but the first uh, I will do that in the can. So I use the hammer and I just crush them in the little pieces. You need to wear a gas mask when you do this because the dust is really fine and it can hurt your lungs. And uh, we're back for the five minutes. So now we crush it. I see chips. I use a hammer and I just pull it down and you twist it. Pull it down and you twist it. It's better with both hands, but in the other, it's my phone. When you finish, you remove the pine dust, then you start again the procedure. When you crush it the first time, you take that in the, I don't know, I don't know how you call that, this dish and uh, remove the bigger pieces, uh, find dust, put in the bucket and the bigger pieces return uh, to the table to crush again. Okay, we finish the process. Now we got uh, black sand. Uh, that bigger piece is uh, silicon. And uh, we left uh, with these and, uh, some metal and uh, mostly uh, copper. This is the copper foils uh, from uh, fiber processors. And uh, we got some iron in here. Now we take the magnet and uh, remove magnetic pieces from the black sand. Look like uh, magnetic pieces stick to magnet. So when I finish with uh, remove magnetic pins, uh, we mix water and uh, we make mud. Okay, when we remove magnetic pins, here they are. Uh, we keep this uh, for the some next time. We will process that again, but uh, when we got some bigger amount of that, for now, we stay outside. And now, next, we put some liquid soap in the black dust and some tap water. We're gonna need to make the mud. Need a sub of water. So if uh, we put uh, uh, only black sand, dry black sand in the water, uh, black bowl will take any sand 
we put it in here, but when we make mud from uh, sand, it's much easier and better. Uh, liquid soap is uh, make uh, black sand much uh, fine during the process. It's much better using liquid soap, uh, not only water. So when I finish this, we go to the black bowl and uh, make the process go on further. Okay, guys, uh, my blue bowl is going to start. I want to show you my blue bowl. This is just a normal plastic blue dish uh, with some plastic bottle inside, and uh, I stick a plastic bottle with glue and some silicone around. And this is a couple of tubes. Uh, this is uh, from the TNG gas from the car. You can reduce your water with water power. And okay, let's start. For the first, uh, just a little down pressure. start using black bowl, you need to lower pressure you don't want to lose immediately a bolt so you got the black sand and just a little behind the tube This is the need to do slowly. If you get anything hurry in the refining process, recovery process, you always lose your gold. And you don't want that. Uh, believe me, I learned from my mistakes. I wanna thank you a couple of guys, which video has helped me to learn and improve my gold recovery hobby uh, I want thanks uh, the urban miner Francois I want to thanks uh, Moose Scrapper this is the best guy and uh, Ives Ben uh, Mike McKinister and a lot of guy, other guys and uh, thanks man Uh, no hard feeling is if I forgot some something to say. So okay, now we'll uh, put all the black sand in the bowl, and uh, when, I, when I finish, I keep with the recording. Okay, it's past uh, maybe ten minutes. All the black sand is uh, inside the bowl. And uh, you see how the gold wire and uh, other heavy material is uh, outside, and uh, lighter material is in the center. So I will now just a little make pressure faster. little by little you need to watch uh, then uh, not be a big pressure uh, because uh, you can take your goal back for the another 10 minutes. 